Peace, if you're willing to fight for it, and welcome to Make It Plain, the People's Talk thing here with your brothers Amari and Samori. Say what's up to the people, Samori. Revolutionary love, black people, revolutionary love. That's what it is, and here on Make It Plain, we are Black Power Media, nothing more, nothing less. That's right, that's right. Before we get started, shout out to Soul Sister Sharday. Black Power, y'all. Right, right. That's right. And also our brand new uh, uh, cameraman. That's right. You'll see him on future episodes on yeah. Make It Plain, the People's Talk thing, okay. Brother Juan out there, you know what I'm saying? All right, all right. And yo, also shout out to the people who hit us up, checking on us to make sure that we was all right. We was on a little bit of hiatus. Right. But we back now, baby. Back. Sons of Malcolm is here. We are back in the building. Yes, sir. Yes, we are. We are back. Okay. Right? That's what's up. Go on. But yo, yo, while we were on hiatus, we got a couple uh, emails. Yeah. Right? And and one of the emails requested that we do a show on a, on a particular situation that's out right now. Right. Pretty hot right now. Yeah. On Henry, uh, skip the truth gates. Call him what he is. Shout out right, to my man Deshango. Right. He real creative with so things like that. They yeah. want us to talk about that. One. They want to know how we feel. So to right. answer, first of all, how do we feel? It happens. It's actually quite funny. This is a rare instance in which the police have actually done something positive for African people by getting this man off the streets. Right, at least for a couple hours. Yeah, right? enemy of black people, signifying That's monkey. That's what he is. It actually spurred the photo of the week. Check it out. That's right. You know what I'm talking <laughs> but about? But what's crazy though, yeah. man, is like. People are really catching feelings, especially black people. Yeah. You know, they don't well, we, we don't like, no, they are the only like, people. Yo, yeah. yeah, I can't really they're doing this to another <laughs> black person. Racial profile. I love America, America, and I know Obama is all, all president. So why are you doing this now? Nah. Is that that's how they sound? It's, it's just like that. Yeah, just, just, and then we with the fingers <laughs> all the way up here. All right. uh, well, basically, man, and the, the question that we have is, why do we care? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do we know who this man is? Nah. Do we know what he does? Yo. Let me, may I? Break it down, bro. Yo, Break it down. Skip the Truth Gates the truth. is a spokesperson for white supremacy. That's what it is. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. This man is a person who has dedicated his career, no, his life, <laughs> to degrading black people. This is true. You know what I'm it's saying? True. This is the man who has said things like, uh, African people are responsible mm -hmm. for the Ma'afa. Not, right. Not Europeans. The Ma'afa being the transatlantic slave trade and all the horrors. It is African people. This is what he says. He doesn't have anything to say about his European handlers. Mm -hmm. You see? Because he loves them. <laughs> but it was ours. This is a man who has made countless pieces of trash uh, documentaries mm. that degrade and, 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 the and, continent and, of Africa. Yo, on, right. the, on the continent of Africa. This makes me ask what, uh, what type of black man okay says that he is 56% white and we supposed to be a friend of him. <laughs> Come on. Man. Well, you know, I know I know I know a number of black people right. who who would say they mixed with everything oh, but right. African. I got Indian in my family. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, right, anything right. but African. So I think he's one of those, but I know right. one who probably would say like, "Yo, I'm I'm 58% white." Who's that? Oh, 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 oh. Barack Obama. Yes. Bowack Obama. Or our recent favorite. The, the 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 slave master's mulatto son. That's what he would say. You know what I'm You've saying? You've been practicing on this. I've been practicing, yeah, yeah, a little, little bit, a little bit, a little bit. But no, B, but he weighed in on the situation. Yo, he weighed in. He weighed in. What did he yeah, have to he say? Said, though, well, well, uh, I, 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 I think that um, the, the, the Cambridge police officers acted uh, stupidly. Right. Yeah. Stupid. Stupid. No, but, you know but why? Why would he? Why would he weigh in? Is this? Is it? Is this? Is this the proverbial wink mm -mm. that black people have been saying that Barack Obama has been giving us all along? Is this the proverbial wink? No. Not the proverbial wink. So then why would he... Because first of all, this guy is a friend. He's a, I, I know him personally, so I'm a little bit biased. That's right. That's His right. friend. That's right. Right? But yeah. he's out, and he thought it was safe to do this. Yeah. He thought it was safe to say something about these police officers. Right. Because his friend, yeah. this Negro, this person who a lot of white folks like, yeah. with giving him, you know, the head Negro in charge kind of situation yo, going on there. It's true. And, and then the white folks showed him, like, yo, nah, it ain't no right. Why then did Barack Obama not speak out on, in that very same week? Same week, right. That same week, a sister was shot by the pigs out in Jersey City. Mm -hmm. A brother was shot on his his stoop unarmed in Brooklyn by the pigs. Right. You know what I'm saying? Barack Obama had nothing to say on nothing. Oscar Grant who nothing. popped in front of the nation. Right. Sean Bell was murdered, shot 50 times by four pigs, acquitted, and Barack had to say, what did he say? He said, uh, uh, we're a nation of laws and we must, we must, we must uh, respect the laws and black people should not resort to violence to solve anything. Mm -hmm. And this is, this is the, uh, the, the proverbial wing. <laughs> but then, but then he apologized. Like, yo, yo, if you're going to say something, if you're going to take a stand on something, <laughs> yeah, yeah. boy, don't be firm on right, it then. Right. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. But then, you know, but, but, but he apologized. Let's check it out. Check it out. Uh, I want to make clear that in my choice of words, I think I unfortunately 
then gave an impression uh, that I was maligning the Cambridge Police Department or Sergeant Crawley specifically. Uh, and I could have calibrated those words differently. Um, my hope is, is that as a consequence of this event, uh, this ends up being what's called a teachable moment. So, so if this is a teachable moment, yeah. what have we learned from this? Yo, one thing we've learned is that Barack old drama is only willing to stand up and say something on behalf, even if it's just half-heartedly, uh -huh. on behalf of black people when they are his friends. That is, when they are equally accepted by white uh, America, uh -huh, when they're uh -huh. safe. Right, right, right. Yeah. But, it's all, but it, also, it also shows us, it also teaches us, that Barack Obama is a weak man huh. and a boy for these white folks because this white... Police officer yeah. got on camera was like, people was like, yo, you gonna apologize? You gonna apologize? He was like, nah, I ain't apologizing. No. Yo, all school faced up. All school faced up. Yo, you could tell Obama, you could tell Gates, Skippy Gates, yeah. I ain't apologizing ain't at all. Apologizing. You know what I'm saying? That's hey, crazy, son. He sunned him. That's, yeah, the, that's yo, what y'all say in New York, right? He got sunned. Yes, yeah, so I'm from Jersey. And then of that's course, crazy. and then and then of course, equally, I mean, you know, another on an insignificant level, uh, -huh. uh you know, what's this dude's name? Skip, 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 yeah, I skip, 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 skip my memory. Right. Uh, he got a taste of the reality that he has made a career of denying that is being black in America. Right. Um, but you know, brings Malcolm, our father, to, to mind when he says, What do you call a black man with a PhD? A nigga. A nigga. Right. Um, right, right, and right. And of course, Gates is over there throwing a national temper tantrum that people really ain't paying attention to no, no more because he's really. largely insignificant. You know what I mean? But I mean, I think, man, I think the overall. The overall point to the yeah. show. What 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 does this whole situation teach us? Man, I think it teaches us that we must understand. Okay. That skinship does not equal kinship. Yeah. That there are there is such a thing as black enemies of black people, and yeah. they must be dealt with, yeah. right? Wolves and sheep clothing. They are extremely dangerous because they could sneak right up on us. Right, 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 right up on us, and we gonna be sitting there with open arms, like, come on, come oh, on home, baby, come on, come on home. Right, right, right. and they using and abusing us. It's yeah. just like, it's just like, uh, uh, the Frankenstein, hmm. right? These white break folks down, have, break have, have done such a masterful job yes. of creating this Frankenstein yes. monster of a black person huh. who will defend white people to the end, and we have to fight that Frankenstein to, to really get to our true enemy. Right. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, Black is much more than just a skin color. Mm -hmm. You know, we need to begin to judge so-called black people and our allegiance to them mm -hmm. based off of their actions. What are they doing on behalf of black people? Right. What are they doing for black people? Right. Are they working against us? Because if they are, they're not on the team. That's all there is to it. And we are the sons of Malcolm. El Haj Malik El Shabazz. Revolutionary love. Peace willing to fight for it.